Hey guys, today uh, we're going to be uh, a little more on the basic side of things without airbrushing today. I know a lot of you have uh, no means of airbrushing, so I do have this lineup of uh, Vallejo spray cans, and uh, I've yet to test any of the colors. I, I know I sprayed some flats, and I used the flat clear and the in the gloss clear, uh, particularly on the last spoons. I just uh, I just tested, but um, I've never tried all these, so I figured uh, I'll do it on video, and we'll. We'll uh, go through this together, but um, we're gonna. I'm gonna spray each one of these on my spoons, and we'll we'll see how it goes on and how how it looks when it's dry. Um, the metallic, the only metallic I do have is gunmetal. They come with two nozzles. All right, there's a uh, more of a fine point if you can see it. There it is, and this is. Uh, more of a wide point. I guess if you're going to spray a, a lot or a car body or whatnot, uh, you would use that. Um, doesn't matter to me. We're just spraying a spoon. I'll just leave whatever one it, it ships with. But it comes with two nozzles, which is a, a pretty good thing. It's a lot here. These are about, I think they're eleven ninety nine a piece retail. I didn't get them retail. I, I think they're eleven about twelve bucks a piece. But you're getting a lot. I mean, at, at Hobby Lobby, the little the little cans of testers and Tamiya, those are six, seven, eight bucks. So at this price, more than double that. Yeah, it, it's it's quite worth it, particularly if you're going to use a lot of them, or you're going to build a couple of master grades. These should get you through that, you know. But I'll shake them up. I do like to put them in warm water before I shoot them. Tub of water, or you can just hold it under the sink. Not bleed, not real hot, just warm water. Thins them up. It's kind of warm here now. I probably don't even need to, particularly during the summer. In the winter, and it's a little colder, I do like to put them in warm water. Um, other than that, I think we're just going to go ahead and shake them and put them on. The spoons at the booth um, I'll go through each color as I spray it and uh, I'll give you the names of each one and uh, we'll take it from there all right I'll see you at the booth in just a minute all right guys here we are at the booth um, when you take off the lid the other cap is loose inside this one's already on it um, this little plastic ring doesn't come off but it shows you the color which is pretty nice this, this is, should be what it looks like once it hits the spoon and dries. But uh, I've shaken, uh, I've shaken them up, so it should be good to go. We're gonna do all of these at once. We'll let them dry, and then I'll meet you back at the bench. Let's see how these go on. Whoa! Well, typical spray can. They do come out fast. All right, that's leather. All right, next up, try and keep the caps with the cans. Next up is, let's see what it's called, Sick Green. Sick Green. All right, I'm putting this over uh, gray primer, most of them. Maybe the lighter the color. You might go with lighter primer, but stuff seems to go on quite well. Well, you won't be wasting much paint. It goes on uh, quite fast. All right. Next up is... Alien Purple. I imagine these are colors they want you to use for uh, Warhammer, I'm guessing. It looks it right there on the cover anyway. And here we go. All right, pretty close. We'll see when they dry. They always dry a little different. But sorry, guys, got in front of the camera. You can't beat the coverage, man. That, that it goes on quite fast. So you're not really wasting uh, a lot of paint. Uh, Ultramarine blue. That's a good color. That's a little more uh, Gundam. Um, it actually looks more like the lid. I, the light must reflect poorly over here. The color doesn't quite match. It's tough to get you guys uh, accurate 
looking colors with these LED lights, but we'll see what it looks like when it dries. All right, let's see. Another blue. We have magic blue. This is a brighter blue. Let's try this over white. Looks rough, but I want to see if it self levels. Maybe it levels itself out. So we'll see how that ends up drying. Pretty good though. It's glossy here, it's dull here, so it's probably going to dry flat. Alright, next color we have is Sun Yellow. Again, we're going to go with white on this, the brighter the color like this. The, I like to get light uh, primer. Let's see how it goes on. Oh, this goes on really fast. Whoa. That's it for that one. I don't know if it's going to dry matte or not, but we'll see. All right. Next up is Bloody Red. go with the gray on this. That's an excellent red. And boy, it covers fast. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm used to multiple layers on the airbrush, but this stuff goes on fast. Probably not great for details because it's pretty heavy, but looks pretty good. We'll see how it dries matte. We'll see how it dries. Hopefully it dries like the cover, but Maybe it's, uh, it does dry glossy. I don't know. All right, what do we got? Well, I got another red here. This one is Glory Red. Nope, Gory. I'm reading Glory. Gory Red. So, yeah, I think the colors are based on uh, Warhammers. Not, see, it's not quite, so I'm wondering if it's going to dry in this matte finish. We'll see. You know? You know I'm hoping the results are similar to the cat, because uh, it's easy for you to grab the color that you exactly want if the match is perfect. You know? Alright, we're going to go with a gray on this because this is gunmetal. Gunmetal. Take this one up a little extra because metallic. You don't want the metallic to settle. Let's see what that does. Oh, very nice color. Very nice color. Yep, that went on nice. And that's it. That's our last one, guys. We'll let all these dry. I'll meet you back at the bench and we'll see what they look like once they're fully dry. They're probably going to dry matte, it's my guess. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys. All right, I'll see you back at the bench. All right, guys, I am done with the cans. I am. It's done drying. Let's check the results. All the colors are here. Off to the side here is the gun metal. Um, let's compare how it came. Uh, to compare it to the cap, uh, and it's pretty close. Uh, metallics are usually tough to do. It's it it is matte. They all came out matte as I figured. Um, it's got a smooth texture. Well, yeah, a little rough for metallics, but usually you get that with gunmetal. Uh, very smooth, very consistent. It leveled. Uh, it came out good. They're acrylics, so they don't smell. But it's a good leveling uh, for an acrylic. So that is the gunmetal. Well, let's go across and check each one. This was leather. Keep the cap in there. Now it's pretty, it's close, man. It is close. Now don't forget, um, I use different colored primers. Some are gray and some are white. 
who knows what they used on this probably a dark gray but you can tell it's 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 the it's the same color it depended on the so they are pretty accurate with um, their color matching and see how close it is there but very very durable I scrape it over here on the side pretty good none I, I can't even scrape it so it's strong uh, it's it's got that satin finish not quite the rough matte finish as um, let me see if I can show you an example this is like a dead matte this is a uh, humble this is my humble acrylics you can see it right there see the little sheen I'm getting on this one and see this one there's nothing this is dead matte this is what you call matte right or flat one is flat and one is matte you know I gotta figure out which is which I should know I'm the painter here um, but you can see the, the slight sheen and there's none on this acrylic from uh, Humbrol. But it, that, that's a rough surface. And this is really tough to work with as far as decaling goes and panel lining. So um, uh, this is more of a military use, I would say. Because you're going to have to coat it somehow and then uh, do what you got to do with uh, if you're going to panel line on a Gundam or put a decal down. Whereas this, I think, is smooth enough to take a decal. So that's the difference there. But. Uh, very good color leather great color it's a little little duller the camera makes it look brighter than it is uh, but it's a good color for seats you know um, uh, I'm gonna work in this Supra next and uh, you know like you can see it's got leather colored seats and this is that's why I got that can for so I can do uh, leather seating is pretty much why without going crazy and you know I'm probably gonna airbrush anyway but it's good to have particularly if you just want to throw a kit together on a weekend without uh, really blowing all the, your time on painting. You just want to put one together. All right, this is Bloody Red. Let's check it out. And yeah, it's a close match. Um, it came out good. Again, it's got that satin finish. That's a really nice, even, deep red. Very, very nice. Um, impressive. Not bad at all. This is good paint. Let's try the durability on this. No, it's, it's not scratching. It, it's on there pretty good. And keep in mind, I'm only about an hour. I don't even think it's been an hour since I filmed the spray painting of them and right now. So you wait any longer, it's probably going to be even more durable. But there's your red, bloody red. All right, we got gory red. Match is good. This Roush is really good. You know, very good color. Another good one. Now, you want to do a two-tone kit, a Sazabi, you know, there's your two reds, you know. I mean, you invest in these two cans and the kit, and you you got yourself a nice custom uh, Gundam build right there. Because that's all you need, you know. That would be perfect for a nice, uh, I don't want to say Sazabi, but the Zaku, like uh, Char Zaku. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I even should do a video with these two and we'll build one. Maybe I might do that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll get the the newer high grade Char's uh, Zaku too. And maybe we'll just use these two colors. You know, a couple of. Maybe we'll do the whole thing with spray cans as uh, one of my upcoming videos. I think I will. All right. Those are the two reds. Let's check yellow. Yellow, very hard to spray. Um, I airbrushed this uh, Z. 30 plus years ago this is a 30 year old kit and it's held up well uh, i had it you know under protection but um yellow is tough um i got pretty good at painting these things back when i was younger and um and then i then I, that's when i made the attempt to uh to build this z and uh it's really it's come out great it's held up but uh this was airbrushed years ago but it was tough yellow was a tough color so uh, let's see how this sprayed out of the can. First, let's match it. Well, it's a little brighter here, but I think I put this on the white, if I'm not mistaken. i got to go back and watch the video. Um, but even, even my primer, hold on. Even the gray primer that I use, it's a light primer. You know, this, you know, this is a very light primer. So even if it went over that, but I don't recall. I think I'm going to put it over the white. So I'm getting a slight brighter hue to it, but you can see uh, there's basically the same hue. It just went over the, a darker primer to represent the color there. This is sun yellow, and um, there it is. 
Very good. Very even. That's a good yellow, particularly out of the can. That's good stuff. All right, let's go into the blues here. All right. Magic blue. Let's check it out. First we compare. That is pretty damn close. That's close. And this really, this came out, this sprayed nice. Um, this is really impressive. It's just so even and perfect. Can you guys see it? This is great. Um, no worries at all if I would use this to spray one of my Gundams. None at all over an airbrush. So, great results. You can't get the exact colors you want because you got to take what you got because that's how it comes out of the can. Whereas, you know, airbrush you can blend however you want it. But that is a great blue out of a can. Terrific. Very good results so far. This is good stuff. Getting a thumbs up for me. All right, what do we got? Ultra Marine Blue. All right, this comes pretty damn close to the cap. This is dead on. This one's dead on. All right, this has a little more of a shine to it, but I think it depends on the environment, time of year, and what all that other stuff. But look at that. That's dead on. This is another evenly sprayed blue. Again, with these two blues, you want to do a double, you know, um, another. I have the goof. I have the custom goof. And that's two color shades of blue. And you could use this right out of the. Just open the box, take your darker blues, use this, take your lighter blues, use this can, and boom. It's a custom Gundam without really putting much work into it as far as airbrushing goes. But put this back. This is another good blue. This, these blues really sprayed good. The paint is, is really impressing me here. I've had these a while too, and this is the first time I'm testing them. I was just busy getting my airbrushing skills better. And I knew my spray can skills were fine, but... All right, this has a bit of a shine to it. Mine doesn't. That's the only difference. It matches the hue perfectly. But don't forget, this is probably not a spray painted piece of plastic. This is a dyed piece of plastic. So use it as a guide. You know, but it matches it dead on. You take, the, you add the shine to it. It's dead on. I could put gloss on these, but I wanted to see how they were out of the package. Very good purple. It is alien purple, and uh, very good. Another great color. It paints these bright colors really well. And on the end, sick green. See how it matches. This looks like it could be close to it, also. Yeah. Oh, it's a little. No. Well, it matches on my end, guys. If you could see it. Don't forget. This is a little shinier. See, it? and that's the only difference. It's the same hue. It's perfect. You know, a, a really nice green, actually. Uh, it's a little duller on my end. I, the lights are making it look brighter here. Um, it's not quite this green, which I used for my uh, ball. You know, big difference there. But. This is standard park green from Tamaya, and you take this and with this, you combine the two if you want to shade to you know a, a Gundam. There's your two colors, your darker and your lighter, and you got a nice looking custom Gundam. Sorry, I'm holding that out of the range, you know. But same smooth texture, great color, great. Just a, uh, it goes over it perfectly. Great coverage. But. Uh, I have to say, a thumbs up. I'm not wild about the the gunmetal, but even then, it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I'm used to my uh, hold on, my valet, my uh, all clads. No, this is dark aluminum. I mean, look at the difference. I mean, this looks like aluminum, you know. So this, you know, it's it's not the same thing. It's just spray can gunmetal, which is good. An engine block. Even the frame on a Gundam, you can use that fine. When you want a bit more realistic on uh, your aircraft and, and whatnot, your military stuff, that's uh, that's actual, you know, aluminum. But when not comparing it to that and just a nice can of spray paint, it, it it's good. It's not as good as I don't think as these other colors. They don't have many metallics. They have a silver, but it's it's almost as close as this. And I actually have the silver. I just didn't, I picked one to test, but. Thumbs up for me. This stuff is great. It sprayed great. It dried quick. It seems durable. The coverage is perfect. It leveled itself. 
There's no imperfections on them things, and I just blew through them quick. You saw me. Uh, it's all in real time. So uh, I recommend them. Um, they're about 12 bucks a can, but you are getting your money's worth. There's a lot here. You can do several kits, particularly if you buy a red or your standard yellows. This will go forever if you want to spray your you know, your highlighted parts on your Gundams. Gundams have a lot of yellows, the Vs and whatnot, the vents. Most kits have that yellow. So you get a lot of room out of that. You get a lot of, a lot of uh, money worth out of the blue, too. So even the, even if you got with a gunmetal, I recommend them. Um, so uh, it's a thumbs up for me. We'll move on to the next test. But I did want to try some of these uh, spray cans because I haven't done a spray can test yet at all. And um, my first one... Uh, is a good one. These are I'm not a Vallejo guy. I don't, I'm not crazy about the paint. I do like their uh, airbrush paints for for the mechs, the Mecha color. No, I, I do like this paint. The the regular paints. I'm not I'm not crazy about. I have better paints than that. But their uh, their uh, airbrush Mecha color lineup is good. I'll be testing this soon. But uh, this is is a favorite product of mine of theirs so far. This is a great product. All right, guys. I'm talking too much. Uh, if you want them, feel free to grab them. Thumbs up. You will uh, you will get your money's worth. They're terrific paints. I have nothing bad to say about them. And uh, we'll move on to the uh, next test. And uh, we will see you soon.